our 31 Ford. I can only imagine the glorious image that flooded into my mother's mind when my dad told her he'd be bringing home a hot rod. Either way, the car in her head was certainly more sophisticated than the dilapidated one that pulled up in the driveway on a rusty trailer. It's a cornfield car, my dad had exclaimed happily. 1931 Ford Model A. Only a thousand bucks. What? Little did my parents know that this one antique car would come to represent more than just an expensive purchase. I was delivered just before the hot rod was. So my dad set out to turn the vehicle into something special. I got older, the years couldn't come fast enough, and eagerly flung myself into the moment, helping my dad tighten bolts and change tires and test the seats and honk the horn. Auga! Not only did we build strong bonds as father and son, but we had a hell of a time in the process. We'd go to the junkyard and climb the mountainous piles of scrap, endeavoring to find that one right part. We'd visit Ted, the mechanic, to discuss engine thingamabobs. And, most exciting of all, we'd go to swap. Even though I was usually more interested in finding deals on Pokemon cars than actually looking for parts, Swamp Meets let us take a bit of a break. Naturally, my dad loved strolling through the sunny rows of other people's auto creations, dreaming about joining their ranks with his completed Model A. I'd say he was a little jealous. But who could blame him? After years of watching my dad work on his car and cruise the open roads, I started getting rather envious myself. Salvation came in the form of a birthday gift from my Aunt Cindy and Uncle Rick. A bright red toy Lamborghini that I could sit in and drive. It was no hot rod, but finally I was ready for the roads. I charged the battery, which required countless hours of long, impatient, endless waiting, and hopped in excited. I chugged along as fast as I could. I loved it. Unfortunately, it turned out the battery wasn't designed to sustain a drive to the park. But truthfully, I wasn't much of a good driver anyway. Clayton! What in God's name are you doing in the garden? So gradually, my eagerness to be around cars waned as I grew up. But still, that old hot rod in the garage weighed heavily on the family, yearning for attention. Clearly, maintaining the car had turned from a hobby to an outright burden. The necessary doohickeys were nowhere to be found, we were running out of money, and my dad had lost me as a helper. Fearlessly, shamelessly, pitifully, my dad stuck it out. What was once just an old, rusty frame slowly turned into a dull, gray and black A-bomb. The car transformed as I transformed. It became more sophisticated, showed a high degree of firepower, and developed a pinch of attitude. Although it wasn't yet finished, we finally realized that the little jalopy had potential. I really think I can finish this, Jackie, my dad had said to my mom. This isn't fun anymore, she replied. But that soon changed. After a bright blue paint job and years of procrastination, the car seemed as close to complete as it would ever be. It glimmered in the sun, proud and true. Finally, our 1931 Ford Model A was not an embarrassment. It was a real work of art. We took it to car shows. We cruised the roads. <laughs> we showed it off. And then... Well, I can't really pinpoint what happened. It just... died. I'd hit my teen years, and the car was done. What more was there to do? The novelty had worn off. And after rigorous additions on our home, 
the train family just seemed ready to turn over a new leaf. Before we knew it, a man was already in our driveway looking to buy the car. And we were looking to sell. The goodbyes were hard, and the memories seemed to flash by. The smiles, the laughter, the companionship. It was all a thing of the past now. It had taken over a decade to build the hot rod, but mere hours to sell it. With one final auga, the car was gone. Naturally, the mood that night was grim. We'd lost a member of our family. Like all losses, this one was heart-wrenching. Steadily, however, we realized that it didn't have to be. Our memories of that shimmering blue hot rod didn't go away. The good times our family spent together still live on. Although the car is part of our family's history now, the companionship that came with it will last a lifetime. We built bonds, and that's something you can't sell. And with a new leaf turned, who knows? Maybe there's another hot rod parked around the corner, just waiting for us to hop in.